After finishing my canyon bridge repair, I couldn't resist fixing the two bridges that span the twin rivers heading towards Departure City. This turned out to be a bigger task, as they are much longer bridges, but easy to navigate as there isn't a massive canyon to get trapped in. First up is to work out what shapes are being used. You can see up the top the 45 degree ramp is being used, and then the 1 metre pillars are used for the supports and there are seven blocks between each pillar. Underneath the bridge, the I-beam centered shape is used and also the default square block. While I think of it, I use the paintbrush to get the colors on the pillars and the beams. I'm going to leave a lot of the rubbish and wrecked cars on the existing bridge sections as I like how they look. There's a few blocks of the end of the bridge that give it the effect it's damaged and I'll need to remove those. These center line paint markings on the road are actually the block shape of the letter I, a very creative use of them. Anyways, no time like the present to get stuck into getting rid of these broken blocks and it's not long before my first injury, the first of many actually. Okay, so after way too many broken bones, the first bridge is done. I must admit, it does look nice from down here. At this point, I'm going to jump over to the second bridge and show you how I worked on it as I had refined my method by this stage. The key step was placing the ramp shapes in place while I was constructing the lower section. This made for a much more streamlined process. On the first bridge, I added them all at the end and it was quite frustrating as I had to make scaffolding and it was just a waste of time. Well, after about 8 hours of hard work and many broken bones, the two bridges are now complete which makes travelling to Departure City much easier when driving a road based vehicle. I wish I could show it off in its full glory, but even with the view distance set to its highest setting, the far ends of the bridge are not shown. It's simply a game limitation to help with performance. So that's it for this video folks. I hope you enjoyed seeing these two bridges brought back to life. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, bye.